forgive me for always going back to how things were at the time because I, I, I look back at the, the Deshaun Watson situation last year and compare it to how the NBA, or excuse me, the NFL is reacting this offseason. But keep in mind this little fact whenever the suspension is handed down, and I, I do think this matters and deserves some attention. The NFL and police waited until after the Pro Bowl to arrest him at yes. the site, at the venue. They <laughs> colluded the together. I've forgotten about it. They colluded to make that happen after the game. And in fact, they, if they're all about you know conduct detrimental to the league and the personal conduct policy and all this, and now they, they're waiting to see the legal process play out, quote unquote, which you know they, they can say all they want. I, uh, I'm, I'm not condoning anything with this, but at the same time, I hate the fact that the league just makes up things as they go here. First six. As teams are getting set for training camp, instead of as teams are preparing to move on from certain players or players who are not available during the bulk of the offseason. That, that's my biggest issue with it. Quickly, here their first six, Chad. Uh, Falcons, Bucks, Panthers, Vikings, Seahawks, Bengals. Not bad. Bengals, tough. Bucks, tough. You know, the rest of them may be handled. Well, and it's it's going to show the value of Sean Payton, you know, this big $20 million guy, <laughs> supposedly, that everyone in the NFL wants, who I think is a great coach. We start to see, you know, his value to that Saints team. Here's what I hate about this story, guys, is that um, Alvin Kamara, you know, one incident, bad incident, no doubt, not condoning it at all. Something should happen to him through the league. But he already has this knowledge or this expectation of six games with this. And meanwhile, it's just complete mystery with Deshaun Watson. Now you, you talked about making, the, making up as you go. I hate that it's just like, okay, it'll, this it'll guy. It'll end up being indefinite for him. Yeah, this guy, hey, uh, I you know, feel like it's going to be six games. That's what but, I'm expecting. And then, oh, well, who knows with the other one. And that, that's this is coming from Florio, who says the expectation is up to six games, and it'll be appealed, and who knows what it ends up being. But, I mean, he was arrested on felony battery charges right after the game. And it was a big headline then, but it, it also came out that they, they knew about this prior to the game even kicking off. And it, the league I, did. The league did, yes. The league let him play, knowing an arrest was pending. Right. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Just unbelievable. I mean, we, we talked about, about it at the time. I know. And and so you know he's here he is he's going into the, what the final year of his deal, um, it was originally uh, excuse me he just signed an extension after he was going into the final year of his deal, um, he was banged up last year, and the Saints have been preparing for him to be back. I'm not saying it's uh it, it, he shouldn't be suspended in some way based on the way the policy reads, guys, but the time to do this if you're truly going about it like in a timeline that makes sense to me with Watson and the Browns, no matter if you agree or disagree with what they gave him contractually, this goes for any player, any team. Um, and, and why I harped on it last year with how they let the, the Texans just swing out in limbo with all this. Let the teams know and come up with and make up your mind on determination on if you're going to discipline a player before the legal process plays itself out during the bulk of the off season Instead of the four-week time frame here, as teams are getting set after OTAs and mini camps, with a, a 90-man roster and their biggest players are presumed playing, whenever they that three weeks ago they were hosting mini camps. I, I don't. I just don't think the process makes sense with how these news leaks are put out there and the suspension happens as guys return to camp and as, as, as teams have already had the chance to draft a player that could help supplement the loss of said player or sign a player in his absence.